Yeah. Nick, uh, it's so funny because it's so funny because in in the history of Zen bitch slap, we wanted to avoid all questions as much as possible, and now this venue, you need questions because it's difficult uh, to get a. You need the pump doesn't get primed by looking at a screen because this looks like that old show Hollywood Squares. It does. <laughs> you can't, I can't get serious with it really. Or <laughs> the Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, yeah, yeah. Brady Bunch. So. Dining a cold blankety blanket. I want to share something that Pat shared the other day about uh because people get confused about the the use of self because in some uh venues self means everything and all yeah it's a large a capital s but i i'm coming from recovery where self is a small s and for me it represents an act of it's actually it Self doesn't represent anything. It's selfing. Yeah. Oh, what happens? Sorry, I have. I, maybe it's just the computer. So, the so the idea of self in let's how Ramana Maharshi would put it. I don't know how he meant what he meant by it, but it would be the all and the everything and the all and the nothing, whatever. And then this, how we use selfing is, or the idea of self, is the attribution of doing, feeling, tasting, touching, seeing, thinking to a body. So the body represents the claiming of those activities. So the so when those activities are claimed, there's an image that arises and that's of a body. Yeah. And so the body gives a continuum to the story of selfing, which is the selfing when it claims an action it implies an in a historical actor. It's so incredible, really. So it takes one action, and when it claims the action to imply an actor, the actor is implied to be historical. There's a feeling, the sense of self is, part of it is a sense of time, yeah? So now you feel as if you've been Christian your whole life, and then you also feel a projection that you're going to be Christian your whole life. That's how, the, the, see, the bondage of self is just an inference, and then it gets, it gets weight and length by, by projecting historically. Yeah? And it's all happening in a moment. It's not like, a, so we used to always use the example of, there's consciousness and then there's bait. So let's say the mental state is sort of throwing chum out in the sea of consciousness. And then consciousness arises or becomes aware of the bait. And then when it becomes aware of the bait, something happens in a way where there's a claiming of being the one who's aware of the bait. And suddenly consciousness takes itself to be a fish. And not only a fish, that it's always been a fish. It's so incredibly fast, yeah, that over time I realized that there's no faster process than the process of selfing. So the whole world of trying to do yourself out of the doer to me is failed from the beginning, yeah? So what's one to do? Are you, can, is everyone able to hear it? Oh yes, all right. So, so the idea of selfing and self, uh, the capital S is implying something that I would use the word mind for, M, the big M, mind. So a lot of times when we're sharing, we, t we don't call uh, the selfing an aspect of mind, we call it an aspect of mental processing. Yeah, just to be clear, just to be clear about things. So it's uh, not, not that there's a, an objective to understand, but, the, but a misunderstanding can be a neutering, yeah, of the, uh, from, of the message. 
the understanding doesn't really do anything. The misunderstanding can neuter it, where a person will believe they understand, and yet they'll still think they're going to do themselves into non-duality. Yeah, it's just insane. So, yeah. So I wanted to read something tonight, shortly, and then you guys, if you like, just could ask some questions or just uh, share. All right, so it's from The Course in Miracles. And uh, it's pretty beat up, but here you go. Now, to me, this is a very clear... Can you hear me, everyone? All right. This is a very clear... Uh, in its direction of negation. It's not talking about what we are, it's talking about what we're not. Yeah? So it switches it where usually we're sitting in a meeting and people are trying to talk about what we are to what we're not. Yes? In this case, the Course in Miracles switches it and just talks to what we are about what we're not, not talk to what we're not about what we are. You all right? Yeah. All right, so here you go. It says here, oh yeah. It says, yet we have heard a very similar description. This is on page 468 of this book, if you're interested in it. Yet we have heard a very similar description earlier. What was the description of what we're not, yeah? I say yeah to hopefully see if anyone's following. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yet we have heard a very similar description earlier, but it was not of you. So the description that the Course of Miracles was presenting earlier was not of you. Yes? It was describing something other than you. Yeah? With the hopes that it would be describing something other than you to you. Yeah? Yeah. But still this strange idea, which it does accurately describe, you think is you. The you being this you, can it, it's inc it, totally impossible, but it can seem to be possible through thought, yeah? So there is you, yeah? But this, but... Still this strange idea, which it does accurately describe you, meaning something that you are, think.